yesterday, but uh, my coach told me the opposite. He showed me the stats, he showed me that I won a lot of points on second serve return, which I think was the key to win this match today. So I was going into his second serve, I was putting, trying to put a lot of pressure on it. Yeah, I got a little bit lucky first set, I got a little bit nuts, throwing the racket around, but that, that was maybe what helped me a little bit to boost me up mentally and to keep on fighting, you know, so I tried it and it worked, so, so I'm happy that I won it. What, did you watch McEnroe this week? You got, you got a little lesson? And... No, I told you, I don't watch tennis, but uh, <laughs> I just got, I got nuts today. Yeah, that's a Ernest, Yarko plays a totally different style than you. He mixes up the pace, takes the pace off. You beat him the only time you played him. What what do you have to do to win that match? Honestly, I don't remember the last time we played. Cincinnati? Him. No, no, I remember. Oh, you remember I remember oh. that I beat him, but uh, I don't remember how the match went. But uh, I think if I serve well, I have... Uh, half match in my pocket, you know, and yeah. have to serve well and, uh, and similar like today, you know, I mean, I didn't feel really well with my legs today, with my knee especially, it was really, my legs are really tight and tired, so it puts uh, extra pressure on my little bit injured knee, so I was struggling with that, hope that tomorrow I feel better and if I'm moving well, I'm, I'll just stay aggressive, you know, I'll serve well and stay aggressive, that's it. That's all I can do. He had a set point at 5-4 when he was serving in the first set. Was that a big hurdle for when he, you were able to break him in that game for you? Of course. It was a tight game. Uh, I had I think, two break points and he had one uh, set point, so it's pretty tight. And, uh, I mean, in these moments, it's, it's like, I think if I would lose the first set, I think I would lose the match. Because uh, I really didn't have it wouldn't have it in me to, to continue because I really had to push myself to move better because when I came on court I felt really tight with my legs, really difficult to start moving, you know, and that, that uh, game was a push for me to, to, win the, to win the set, mentally especially, you know, because physically okay I didn't feel well but uh, mentally I, I believed in myself that I can, uh, can go to the tiebreaker and win the set. Mentally, that's why you're throwing the rackets. You were frustrated about what part of your game was it? Your movement? My movement, yeah. I was frustrated about for the situation, you know, that that I couldn't uh, move like I did, for example, against Gabashvili. Because I think against Gabashvili, I moved really well. And today I walk on court and uh, morning practice, and I feel not not really good. So that was the point. Do you feel like Do you feel like a first round draft put pick in the NFL who maybe two, three years, uh, doesn't produce much, and people are saying, oh, he didn't live up to expectations. Do you, do you feel that way, and you care about what people say, like, hey, he should be number, he should be in the top 10 by now? It's stupid to say that I don't care, you know, because I wouldn't put it in that way, you know, it's not like, I don't listen, you know, but I care. I care that uh, because it's a thing what I do, you know, I care that uh, I can do the best that I can do, uh, that I can be, you know. Because my goal is to be in the top 10, to be among the top guys, that's my goal, you know, and that's what I'm working for, you know. But uh, if I listen to to other people's opinions, honestly, not so much. I listen to uh, opinions of my closest people who are helping me with my career. But other things, no, I, I don't, I, I'm not into it a lot, you know, I, I don't, I'm not reading interviews of myself, I'm not reading newspapers, you know, yeah, I mean, I, I hear some information, it's, you cannot not hear it, you know, good, I mean, great, it doesn't, doesn't affect me. <coughs> when you start throwing your rackets, what, I mean, like, McEnroe was a rare person. He get that frustrated, and it actually would fire him up. He'd do better, but most players find that that distract them and take them out of the game. Where where do you sit in terms of when you get frustrated and start banging those rackets around? I think that uh, it doesn't help a lot, mm -hmm. honestly, because uh, it just turns off your concentration. A bit. Today I was just frustrated, and I couldn't keep it in me. You know, I'm trying to be more calm on court, but. Uh, 
think I am. Uh, I cannot keep all the suspense and all the tension inside of me. I need to let something loose. So that's what kind of person I am. Sometimes I'm more calm. Sometimes I'm more wild, of course, you know. But so I'm trying to find the balance that I don't get over too much, you know, this throwing rackets and stuff like this. Before, I mean, I'm still breaking a lot of rackets. I'm breaking 50, 60 rackets per year. So <laughs> they get pissed off back at the racket company? I get pissed off, no. I mean, When you rackets. call and ask for more rackets, they get them pissed? No. no. I was, actually, I was in the factory of Head uh, in the off-season, in December. And I saw, uh, because they're making every racket, mm -hmm. almost every racket, I was surprised, by hand. They're making it by hand and they're really putting a lot of work into it. So I went there and I felt so bad that I'm breaking <laughs> them, really. I didn't break a racket for like one month, season, but then again I started. But I'm better now, because I really feel bad. They're putting so much effort to make those rackets. Where was it at? Where was the it? idiot like me goes and <laughs> breaks. <laughs> What country was that in? What, what's, you know? It was in uh, Austria. Austria? <laughs> I was doing preparation in Switzerland, so we went to uh -huh. the car. It was a one and a half hour drive to the factory. So now you don't throw them as hard. Maybe you just like uh, <laughs> place them. <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> I, I hit them sometimes, but not as much. Yeah, it works for some people. So they probably will look at, oh, he's the one who keeps wandering out. <laughs> <laughs> Did Safan also play with head though? Uh, they used yeah. to it. Yeah, so oh, they're used to it. <laughs> trying to break his record. <laughs>